hearing from loved ones who lost a family of three after an accused drunk driver slammed into their car. Emilio Avila, Adla Nolasco, and 18-year-old Mauricio Ramirez were all killed in that crash. Mauricio set to graduate high school in just a few days. That accident happened on FM 2920 in Kirkendall just after midnight. Channel 2's Kathy Hernandez live outside the Harris County Jail tonight where the suspect is this evening. And Kathy, you spoke to the man who tracked that driver down. Yeah, that's right. It was pretty intense the way they described the situation. But meanwhile, deputies are holding Jeremy Valdez here in a downtown jail charged with three counts of murder. They say he was already wanted for DUI when he allegedly killed the family of three. With tears in her eyes, this woman says she'll miss her loved ones, Emilio Avila, Hilda Nolasco, and 18-year-old Mauricio Ramirez. The three were inside this car when deputies say 25-year-old Jeremy Valdez driving a pickup truck slammed into them early Saturday morning. I seen a car demolished in half and I ran up on it first and then that's when I seen the people in the back seat that was deceased. One of the first to arrive at Kirkendall and FM 2920, tow truck driver Jared Hughes says the woman was still alive. Slowly trying to tell her to stay alert, you know, stay with us, keep, you know, keep breathing, slowly breathing. As more people arrived, they say Valdez tried to run away twice. Then everybody starts saying, oh, the guy ran, he ran across toward the woods. So it became a big chase after that. But these tow truck drivers made sure he didn't get away a third time. I just ran at a full sprint and pretty much linebacker tackled him and took him down to the ground. He didn't know what was going on. He just kept saying that he didn't know what he didn't do nothing wrong. He didn't do nothing wrong. Deputies arrested Valdez and suspect he was drunk. They say this was the 25 year old's fourth DUI. The victim's loved ones hope this time Valdez stays behind bars. They say Ramirez was a senior at Klein Oak High School about to graduate. The mother and father also had two younger children who are now left without a family. Just a very tragic situation. Ramirez was set to graduate in two weeks. Klein ISD says it'll have grief counselors available for staff and students at Klein Oak High School on Monday. Reporting live in downtown Houston, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.